Hello everyone, what's going on? Sandra Andrew Orskolich here, and today we're taking a look at the Utech Smart 11-in-1 USB-C hub. This was sent to me by Utech Smart for free for review, but that does not change my opinion on this thing. I'm going to look at this as if it was its full price, $70, and is it worth your money? So like I said, this is the Utech Smart 11-in-1 multi-port USB-C hub adapter. Let's see what it all has. USB-C pass-through, AUX, VGA, RJ45 or an Ethernet adapter, SD, TF, so micro SD, USB 3, USB 2, and HDMI all packed into this thing. You can see there it all is there, 3.5mm jack, etc, etc, etc. And the package includes all of that fun stuff. Overall packaging, pretty standard, just some, um, just a box, and inside of that box, some very boring, very boring packaging, though it does come with a nice little bag, um, I don't know that it's super protective, but if you want a bag, that is there, and then the user manual. So taking a look at the USB-C hub itself, I do have some very positive things to say about it. One, it is very well built. It is machined aluminum. It is uh, anodized, I believe, to be a little dark. Um, you can see right there, USB-C Hub Pro. It is got crap all over the bottom and this logo on the top. I think removing this logo on the top, putting it on the bottom, would make it look a little more classy. Um, but that's just my opinion. So taking a look at the overall build quality here, like I said, the it's built really well. The USB-C on the end is not one of the cheaper ones. It doesn't have a seam. It is one whole piece, which is very nice. It also has a nice thick cable. So people who use this a lot, it'll help. It won't, well, it'll be a lot harder to rip out of the ends here. It is rubberized there and it is thick and uh, pretty sturdy. And the rest of it is also built very sturdily. Um, none of the ports are falling out or anything like that you may expect from a, a Chinese made USB-C hub. What do I like about this? Well, I like that it all works. Um, I tested every port on this guy and they all function properly. Um, that is something I worry about personally when looking at hubs um, and I've seen some complaints on the review sections of Amazon that maybe all of these ports um, just might not work. But this one does. So we have uh, USB-C pass-through, which can support up to 60 watts of power pass-through, um, for example, to the new MacBooks uh, on sale right now. Uh, here we have the HDMI port, which supports uh, 4K30, so not 4K60, unfortunately, but 4K30 FPS. We also have your standard SD card, your standard micro SD card, and your standard 3.5mm headphone jack for all those people who have newer MacBooks that don't have those and if they do they have those they might actually still have those well for the future <laughs> when they inevitably won't uh, and then on the other side we have two USB 2.0s and two USB 3.0s for some reason they specify mouse and keyboard here I don't know if there's a reason for that or if it's just a recommendation but they are only USB 2.0 you can tell because of the color difference and then of course we have your uh, VGA port and your Ethernet port so if you're one of those people who uh, maybe has a newer gaming laptop that doesn't have this, or if you really just like having super fast speeds, useful to use that. Um, there's no hidden port on this side. I know some other ports, some other hubs on Amazon have extra ports back here, but there's none there. From looking at their Amazon page, we can kind of take a look at uh, what they're doing here. There's your power delivery, right? Here's a description of everything. Because this is a uh, USB C uh, hub, you can get very fast speeds on your SD cards and your USB, so that is very useful to know. Um, and yeah, there's some graphics there to show you kind of what it all can do. And uh, they talk about on this page specifically, this, uh, their build quality is different with different heat dispersion. I don't know that that's the case. Um, because I've seen most of the USB-C hubs are aluminum like this, uh, and I don't know that the plastic is going to make much of a difference, but hey, maybe it will. Um, so what did I use this for? I don't have a MacBook Pro that has a USB-C hub or USB-C input on it. I don't have that. I have 
a Nintendo Switch. So what this actually came in handy for is the footage you're seeing now is, for example, if I don't want to bring my dock on vacation, maybe a dock takes too much space in my suitcase or whatever, or my tech bag, I can just throw all of this together on the USB-C hub and it'll function. Uh, I admit it's not glorious, but it is something that can be done um, either in a pinch or if I don't want to bring the entire dock with me for fear of it breaking because it is made out of plastic. This is a nice alternative. Although it is a little finicky, you do have to plug in the power and then the HDMI and then plug it into the switch. Otherwise, it won't register it as being connected. It's a little finicky that way. But that I think that's just because of the switch. Nothing to do with the actual USB-C hub itself. I like to use this for something that personally is going to affect me. So for my Nintendo Switch, I don't have a lot of money to spend on extra controllers, especially wireless ones. So I just buy these cheaper ones, right? I have two of them. Um, so I really, I have four controllers if I split my Joy-Cons up, right? But let's say I want to have four whole controllers that are full size. Um, buying another USB or USB controller would actually work now because there are only two ports on the switch But if I use this all of these ports work so I could actually end up having up to five or four wired controllers and then however many wireless controllers hooked up to my switch at one time because of this USB-C hub because all of these do function with it I tested it at once so let's say I bought another uh, wired controller like this, then I could have all four controllers going at once, which would be great for Mario Kart or Smash. Other than that, I don't have much of a use for this guy um, because I'm just a little on the outdated side in terms of uh, laptops. But in the future, this will be very, very helpful for me um, and I will keep it for that. But if I do get more of these sent in, which it looks like there are some other companies contacting me about these, Maybe I'll get to give those away to uh, some friends and family and maybe eventually some viewers, but I don't know. Um, other than that, I do really like this. I don't know that I can recommend it for the $70 price tag. In relation to the other USB-C hubs on Amazon, this is one of the more expensive ones. What you're really, really paying for is the VGA uh, and the ethernet. So this is definitely more of an office setting uh, device, I would say. Uh, other than that, I would say go with the cheaper options. But if you're really dying for the Ethernet and the VGA, I mean, you don't have much of a choice, do you? Okay, well, that's going to be it. Thank you for watching this video. Like the if you liked it. Favorite the video if it was a favorite. Don't forget to check out the description where this will be uh, linked on Amazon. And of course, I will see you all later. Take care.